Okay, so the peanut gallery, they had a little complaint about my egg drop suit. They liked the eggs. Um, were broken up a bit too much for their liking, right? So they said, you know, can you do it again with longer strands of egg? Challenge accepted. And I did that. Um, hopefully they'll like it. I know I liked it because I tasted it. And I want to try it again. Look at this. This is nice. Nice long strands. Mm-hmm. Try this recipe out. I know you're going to like it. But you know what? It doesn't really matter if the strands are long or short. It tastes delicious either way. They're just being picky. But, like I said, challenge accepted. Hey, this is Shaw Sharon. That's the best elevated music I ever heard. Okay, so for the ingredients for this, we'll be using some cut up green onions or scallions. They like it eggy, so I got three eggs here. About two cups of water. And about two cups of chicken broth, because I want it to be light, so I want to have a 50-50 mix of water and chicken broth. Um, some black pepper, a little bit, and we have a couple of uh, tablespoons of cornstarch. All right, so let's put this all together. All right, so let's turn the stove on, medium high, and we're going to add our chicken stock, our chicken broth, and our water. Let's get this added in. Our water. And we want this to come to a boil so that all the flavors mix. It's very important because if you don't, it's going to taste watery. So you want this to come okay, to a boil. Okay, so our water and broth uh, combination is boiling now. Now let's get the eggs ready. So for our corn starch, we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of water. Let's get that mixed up to make a nice little slurry. You can take your time. You don't want to splash it all over the place. You just want to mix it up good. There we go. Make sure the cornstarch dissolves. If you feel any tough spots while you're stirring, just focus on those to break it up. It, it'll dissolve. Next, we have our eggs, our three eggs. We're going to add about a quarter of a cup of water to that. Now let's get this mixed up. And I'm mixing it up in this um, measuring cup. With the poor spout, there's a reason. I'll explain that the in a minute. The peanut gallery challenged me, so I accepted the challenge. Yeah, nice and mixed up good. Okay. Now back over to the pot. You know what? I'm going to bring the pot here. So I'm going to take the pot off the stove. Because one of the arguments that the peanut gallery had when I made the egg drop soup the last time was that the eggs were too broken up. They like them in ribbons. So I'm going to do that. So when you're cooking your broth, um, if it has a rolling boil, the egg is going to get broken up. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do about that. But right now, let's go ahead and add this cornstarch to the broth. Okay, let's add the cornstarch slurry which is just your water and your cornstarch. Let's add that in there. Give it a good mix. So it thickens up nicely. 
and this is going to help hold the egg shape. So let's get this all mixed in good. And we're going to bring this to a boil. And remember the thing about cornstarch, once the liquid comes to a boil, that's about as thick as it's going to get while it's hot. Now, of course, when it cools down, it's going to get a little thicker. So you want to keep that in mind as well. So let's get this nice and mixed. And then and see it starting to boil there? You see it? See it percolating? So now at this point, we're going to turn the heat off for now. Turn the heat off, and we're going to move this to the counter. So we can okay, do the next so now we're going to add our egg, our egg water mixture. And remember, I told you before that they had a problem with the eggs being all broken up, but that's because it was a rolling boil. So what you want to do now you just pour it in into the hot liquid. You see, and it's going to not be so broken up, but it will be in ribbons, you see. So let's get this poured in here into the hot liquid. So see, now you have ribbons. They want ribbons, and ribbons is what they're not for. ready yet. We're going to put this back on the oven and bring it up to a slight simmer. And then we're going to add our pepper and then it'll be just okay, about so done. At this point, as it's heating back up to a slight simmer, we're going to turn it down the low. Then we're going to add a pepper. About half a teaspoon of pepper is all you need. Half a teaspoon. Now we're not going to chop this up, we're just going to slowly move it around, right? Slowly move it around. Now let this come up to a slight boil and we're done. You see it percolating? Because we want to make sure the eggs are cooked. Now, technically, they're cooked right now. But I just want to make sure that they're done. And I'm just going to slowly move this around. I'm not trying to break up the ribbons. Okay, percolating quite a bit. Let's turn this down a low here. And we're going to give it about 30 seconds. And we're going to take it off and plate All it. Right, now let's get this bad boy plated up. Now we're going to add some green onions to it. There we go. So instead of egg drop soup, this is more like an egg flour soup. They're pretty much the same thing, except egg flour soup is more of a long ribbon based egg broth or egg soup. Where egg drop soup, the eggs are more broken up, in my opinion, from what I've seen. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Try it for yourself. And I think I've uh, accomplished my mission. The peanut gallery should be pretty happy with this. Um, so yeah, like, comment, share it. You know, definitely throw some comments. Let me know what you think. Um, if you want me to do it again, you know, adding some different ingredients, which I mean, you can do whatever you want to with the soup. 
this is just basic. I give you basic information, and you can take it and run with it. That being said, this is Shraw Shraw, and I'm out because I'm about to eat this one.